Hi everyone, I hope you're good Sky. Today I'm gonna talk about a topic a little bit different than usually and we're gonna talk about getting organized and how we can really improve your workflow and help finish your track. So sample selection was really a big step for me. I decided to do that after getting tired to look for the perfect drum sound while I was producing a track. Uh, that's what I want to reason that I wasn't really finishing tracks. That was because I was getting tired to listen again and again the same 8 bar loop while I was looking for the perfect drum sound. And it makes sense, if you are listening to your 8-bar loop while listening 300 shitty snare through your whole sample pack library to find the perfect snare, you get tired and lose the feeling of the, of the moment and of the track. Especially when you have to do that for the kick, close eye hat, open eye hat, clap, percussion, right snare and so on and so on. So one way to really overcome this situation is sample selection. I agree it's really pain in the ass and it's very annoying, but what about doing that the day that you don't feel inspired or you know this kind of day that whatever you do in Ableton, whatever you try, you open any plugin or effect or any sample you use, everything sounds like shit to you and you ended up closing Ableton and doing something else. So next time, if you feel uninspired, instead of closing Ableton, just go through all the sample library, listen to all of your sample sound and pick up which one are the best. And just create a folder like I've done sample tree, which is sample select, and just create like kick folder, FX, clap, whatever you need. And then as far as you listen, you all sample library, just pick up the right sample and just jam drop them at the right place, like here. And even if it's a sample you think you will not use, if it's a good quality, like if it's sounding great, just keep it in case. You know, for example, what do I have there that I will not use? Um yeah, for example, guitar acoustic. Yeah, this kind of stuff you might say, okay, you will never use that in techno, but what about creating an atmosphere from that? Like if, for example, you use my rack pad maker and from that guitar sample, which is sound like this, oh, then you can maybe get Like a kind of drone atmosphere. As far as the sample is sounding good, like the quality is good, just keep it in case, you know. So yeah, the main thing with that is that require a lot of time and it's really pain in the ass. That I um, totally agree with you. But believe me, you won't regret it. Next time you are producing and you need to find a good snare and instead of going through 300 snare or even 5 or 600, I don't know how many, you might just go until 60, you know, and or even less if you are more picky and you will enjoy way much more creating music because everything is going to be too much faster and all the things are just going to flow. So lucky you, you are using Ableton and there is two ways to directly integrate all your sample selection straight away into, into your workflow. The first one, obviously, is drum rack. And you can just, the thing that you can do is once you've got your sample selection, let's say for example clap, you can just select all your clap, drop them in a drum rack, and then just save your drum rack. Like for example, I put PP like for personal preset, but put whatever you like, and you put the air like for drum rack, and for example, you rename it like clap 2019, let's say you do that every year, and in this case, in case you have several clap rack, you know, if you have a lot of sample to select and zero one. All right, and like this, you have your clap. And as you can see here, I've done it. Uh, I've done it for all kind of stuff. And, and it's really good because when you are working music, oh, you need a clap. Okay, let's just drop the rack here. And at your fingertip, you have all kind of clap and work the same with hats. Up, oh, you need the hats. Okay, I have a fully and fully load rack. And yeah, if you get the push or the launch pad or even a keyboard and you can get all you all of your clap and hats and whatever at your fingertip. And that's really great to quickly find one who's gonna fit well. You know, you can still play and play one after all. All right, there is just one thing you need to do when you do that. So let's say, let's go back, you have your clap here. One thing you need to do is to save the project. So Control S, for example, and I'm gonna save it on the desktop. And I'm gonna say, call it clap, like same name, PPDR 
Club 2019 and 01. And yeah, one thing you need to go, you need to go on the file, collect all and save. Right, because I think what's happening is like basically the sample, like when you're gonna save the rack, if you copy the rack and on the hard drive and you go to use it on another computer or whatever, the, the sample won't be there. What you have to do so it's to create a new session, collect and save, like I've just done. It's right here. And then you have to go to current project and on this empty space you right click manage project and there you have this window of pop-ups and there you have create pack. And you just create pack here, place save. Alright, and the pack have been created. And so which means that this file basically is your drum rack with all the sample loaded inside. And so whatever you go, whatever, if you change computer, if you need to change the hard drive, you can be sure with this file, you have all of your sample inside. And then you just need to double click and they will open the pack. So let's open it here. Okay, obviously they ask to replace because it already exi exists, but Okay, I'm just gonna re replace all. And then yes, you get again your drum rack here. So yeah, once you've done that for all of your element, you can be sure that you have your whole library saved and you can go, you can change computer, change the hard drive, whatever, you will still have all your sample loaded and you can just go to drums and then go to pick up your drum rack and drop it whenever you need it. As you can see, I've done that, you see here in 2017. So just, yeah, rename as you want. All right, and the second way to integrate it quickly in live is to use uh, this drum rack selector of create. It's nothing new. There is already topic about it on the internet. And I'm just gonna show you, basically it's a drum rack like the previous one but this one is more like if you like for jamming. So how did it work? You have all your element here assigned to the different part of the drum rack. And inside each part you have this. So if you watch my video about how to make kick part two, you will be familiar with that. It's the same rack I used. Basically it's a sampler where I assign some macro to select the sample. I'm just gonna show you how it works. So just go to your favorite folder and let's go like there, let's go like this. And for example, you take all the clap and wait, let me select the clap here. And you're gonna put them here like this. And then you're gonna click on select and like right click on this part and distribute range equally. So once you've done that, you can close that. And then this way now on the clap here, you can select you clap all right so i've done that with um on my last sample pack you can you can find a rack it's really similar to that let me show you it's just over there so basically all the samples from the sample pack are already and straight away load into this drum rack so you've got kick kick i close i hat open i hat clap snare, ride, tom, perk, and perk. And yeah, you can, you can, let's, let's write quickly a pattern. And break down the volume and you can select which kick you want. You can pitch it. Control the length, sample start, that's not really useful for kick. High pass filter, low pass filter, pan, all right, and control the volume. And then you can really quickly write a drum pattern. Just control the volume. Let me just close that, as you can see. And then if you have, if you have purchase seven grade, because like for example, you can assign stuff to the macro and straight away play. So 
jam with the club. And yeah, you can really quickly jam and create you. It's like walking a bit like a, a drum machine, like all the tear eight from Roland. You can pick up the sample you want and pitch it, change the decay, change the, uh, when it starts, filter it, panning and volume it. And it's a quick way I like to, like if you just want to make music and re reload with it really quickly, you can just, yeah, go like this and select all the samples. So basically what I've done here is, I've done it with the sample pack, but you can pick up all of your best sample and basically just dropping them here. And like this, you are sure that all the sample you've got are good. And then same, select and distribute range equally. So like this, you have all kind of sound. So yeah, that's the rack that I use in my live performance. And it's really nice if you like jamming. It's kind of having a drum machine inside Ableton. You can quickly pick a sample and modify it. So this rack, the MT1 is gonna be available link is in the description you can download it and load your own sample and make your own and if you like the sample and want to support me this one is part of my last sample pack here esoteric techno i will put the link in the description as well thank you very much for watching this guys and see you sunday bye guys